Hello, my name is Kishari. I go to Hastings Middle School in Upper Arlington, Ohio, and this is my Google Science Fair project. I chose to investigate food science and environmental studies because from a young age, I was taught about how lucky I was to have food on a daily basis, and that not every kid had those luxuries. I wanted to help, but more than just donating money or sending food, because that was only a temporary fix. I wanted to create a solution to the problem. The issue I investigated was poverty in third world countries and seeing if there were any food sources there. I realized that plants were a great food source and I directed my research towards African plants. My question became, can plants in third world countries provide a solution to poverty and malnutrition? After a little bit more research, I stumbled upon the moringa tree and its health benefits. Based on this plan, I created my hypothesis, which was if I grow a moringa tree and use its leaves and other easily accessible ingredients to make a food dish, then the new food dish will be able to provide all necessary nutrients needed for human survival, which can limit poverty and malnutrition in third world countries. My research confirmed my initial idea of the health benefits of the moringa tree. It has seven times the vitamin C of oranges, four times the vitamin A of carrots, four times the calcium of milk, three times the potassium of bananas, twice the protein of yogurt, and it has high iron, many cancer-fighting antioxidants, and all essential protein-building amino acids. It also grows in tropical areas, which is where poverty thrives. My method of testing was pretty straightforward. I wanted to make a food dish that would sustain humans. I had to grow a moringa tree and pluck the leaves to make a food dish. I had a scientific way of deciding the proportions for a food dish. I would put in a half cup of rice and a quarter cup of beans and put in some moringa leaves and see which amount would be the ideal amount for eating. These findings will be very helpful because if I can prove my hypothesis, the people that live in third world countries will have food they need to survive. This would greatly lower poverty rates in third world countries. Unfortunately, the results are not in yet because the moringa tree is still in the process of growing its leaves. However, by taking such a long time to grow, the moringa tree might not give results fast enough unless people were provided food from other places until the tree started to grow their leaves out. After I finish my project, I will see if I can spread the word out about these miracle trees.